Hi there. That's part of the Dutching series I've been doing. I mentioned in the last video that I've been working on a green up automation that varies the green up position based on the potential profit available after you've placed your bets. So you'll see in this particular race we have a £48 maximum profit. Uh, so I've ducked the top two in the market with a little bit of cover on Imperium. So what the what the automation does is essentially look at the maximum profit in this case forty eight pounds and looks to green up for twenty eight uh, twenty five percent of that near enough. Now there isn't unfortunately a mathematical way that Fairbot can do it. It can't look at that figure, divide it by four, and there's your green up position. So what I've done is I've set up a number of separate rules split into profit ranges and then calculated what the green up position will be accordingly. So in the case of £48, that's obviously between 40 and 60 So this sh should green up for £10 and there it's just done it as I speak. That was well timed. So what uh, what this uh, automation does is allows you to vary your green up position based on the potential profit. Now, although I've dutched this particular race, this will work for any way that you enter the market. Okay, so if you if you've lain the favourite, if you've backed the favourite. Whatever you want to do, when you've got a, an open position in the market, it will look at the maximum potential profit and calculate its basic green up position accordingly. And that's effectively it. Let me just uh, open up the strategy editor for you to see it in full. Number of things, first of all, you can see that if I scroll down to the bottom, I've got these all set up into 20 pound blocks until I get to 200. So anything, anything, any profit that's over 200, I will green up for 50 pounds and that's it. You could obviously expand that ad infinitum if you wished. Similarly, down at the lower end, you may want to actually make these ranges smaller and the incremental green ups smaller so you'll see here for 20 pound ranges i've increased in step sizes of five pounds as far as the green up is concerned now the way this uh, thing works is as follows it uses the max p l twice to identify the range in which the current maximum potential profit lies and from that you can, it will then check to see if the green up all position is greater than the figure I've specified for each rule and if those three conditions are met it will then go in and green up however there's an additional con condition that's necessary you could potentially imagine that if our potential profit was between 80 and 100 say and that, that uh, target profit of uh, 20 pounds therefore is hit and the green up process works. What actually happens is the green up process will cancel, cancel any unmatched bets that are sitting in the market. Now by default there won't be any on the first green up. However, that first green up may not necessarily be fully matched or its component parts be fully matched immediately which means that it, only, it may only be partially matched and consequently the maximum profit may actually jump to a different range and consequently trigger another one of the rules. Now because each of these rules cancels any unmatched bets, the lays that were placed, assuming that we backed first, the lays that were placed in here to, to uh, green up not all of that money will have been taken. So if the subsequent rule fired, 
those would be uh, removed from the market and a new lays based on the idea of greening up for £10 profit would go in. But that would actually put in too many lays into the market or lays of too high a value. And you'd end up having a skewed green up that actually potentially increases your liability. So that's where this little chappy comes in. Uh, so just before the off, we actually place a, a lay bet on the outsider at odds of 1.01 .01 for a liability of a penny. Now you've actually seen me do something similar in the past where we've put in a controlling bet at odds of a thousand, but that's been a back bet. The reason I've went to a lay bet on the outsider is that it's very unlikely once this bet is taken in play that this will be matched before the green up process. And in the very unlikely event that it is, it's only for a liability of a penny. However, the bigger risk would be if I was to put a back bet of a penny at a thousand. There's a potential that the outsider would suddenly shoot out an odds and that bet would be taken. And I don't want that bet to be taken because all of these rules here, when these conditions are met, checks to see if that bet, that unmatched bet, is still there in the market. And if it is, that rule can then fire. And as part of that firing process, it removes that unmatched penny bet for a one pound liability. And consequently, if the green up process is only partial, none of these other rules will fire because that bet doesn't exist anymore. So by specifying it at 1.01, on the outsider, it reduces the potential risk of that controlling bet disappearing from the market prematurely. Okay, so that's how it goes. Um, you can obviously fine tune this even further. So for example, I've just set up in ranges of 20 pound blocks with incremental green up steps of five pounds. You may want to make that smaller. So you might go uh, 0 to, to 10 or 0 to 5 even, 5 to 10 and so on, and, and make the increment steps smaller until you get to, say, 50 quid, and then you can increase the gap and so on, and you can actually make that fairly large. And by doing that, it means that this particular automation will handle any stake sizes that you like. All these figures here, all these uh, particular rules that I've done here uh, are based on the idea of having a, a £100 liability, uh, either backing or, or laying. And as I say, um, this rule can be used on any type of bet, no matter how you turn to, uh, how you intend to address the market. Okay. Hope you found that interesting. Speak to you later.